do, can you discuss your experience with panatinib and who the optimal patient yeah. for panatinib? So panatinib is our only third generation drug and I think of it as the big gun. It's the most potent drug we have of the tyrosine kinase inhibitors, but as we sort of talked about already, it's also the one that scares us the most. It has the potential for the most serious side effects. In the PACE trial and in the EPIC trial, up to a quarter of patients are having cardiovascular events as we follow them out through the first year. So it gives us pause to use it willy-nilly. But I think that for the patient who actually needs it, it is the drug that we need to use. So it's one of those drugs that when I need to pull it out, I need it. So I don't use it without having a real thought process. It's the only drug of the tyrosine kinase inhibitors that works against the dreaded T315 mutation. It works in other high-risk mutations also. So it's not just specific for that one mutation. So the patient who has compound mutations, the patient who you think, uh-oh, this is not going well. So I've used it in patients, obviously, with T305i. I've used it in patients who I put on a second generation drug and within the first six months, first year, are not having an optimal response. So a patient who should do well with a aggressive drug, if I've given them basutinib, or if I've given them nilotinib up front, and they didn't have a good response at all, I may say, uh-oh, this patient should have done well and isn't, and I may move quickly. Otherwise, the other person is the patient who's marched through the other drugs. So they started on imatinib, they went on, they, they, a couple years later they had some relapse, I made sure it wasn't because of not taking the drug, and there wasn't adherence problems, but once you know, I proved it wasn't and I put them on a second, a second generation and they didn't do well with that, now I start thinking about panotinib. The real question I always have in my mind with the panotinib patients is, should I be using panotinib or should my transplant doctors be seeing the patient? And so it's that type of patient where I'm thinking transplant, maybe to cure the person because nothing else is really working or it's time to, to move on.